Is there big money in big data? Hello and welcome to this special edition of The Deal Report. I'm Jeff Kanige. My guest today is Drew Carter, Managing Director at Alex Partners. Uh, he specializes in helping companies use big data and analytics to drive revenue growth. Welcome, Drew. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for coming in. Uh, can you start just by telling us a little bit about what big data means to you in the context of your work? Yeah, big data is a term that's uh, used in, in popular press a lot, gets a lot of uh, coverage. Really, it's, it's kind of a misnomer. Big data refers to, in my opinion, your internal data, data assets. They could be big, they could be small. Mm -hmm. uh, they might be the data you have in your company or data that's outside your company that you want to get and use. Okay. But it's really those information assets that you could monetize. Okay, it, it, it kind of does sound expensive for a private equity uh, portfolio company. How, how, would, what, how would you reassure someone who is a little bit skeptical about this? What, what's in it for them? What do they get out of, out of what you do for them? Sure, it, it, I agree. It sounds expensive and even sounds kind of sophisticated and, and complex. Um, the reality is, though, while there are um, sophisticated techniques that can be used in, in kind of the big data or analytics landscape, the value they can provide is really tremendous. So um, there are a number of different classes of value that our clients typically drive in the private equity world. Uh, things like developing a customer-centric approach, uh, and that might include um, increasing customer acquisition rates or better cross-selling your products or even retaining the customers you have at a higher rate and using uh, analytics like maybe a predictive model uh, to do that. There's things like optimizing your marketing. Uh, lots of companies have trouble with where am I spending my marketing uh, or things like pricing uh, and predictive uh, forecasting. Mm -hmm. In fact, for a recent client, just by targeting the people for whom they, to whom they sent their catalogs, we dropped a million dollars in EBITDA per month. Oh, okay. And are those challenges uh, unique to private equity portfolio companies? I mean, how's it different from, say, a large cap public company? Are they the same sorts of things that you're the same sorts of issues that you're working with? Yeah, they're really the same types of issues. I think what's unique about uh, private equity portfolio companies is that they have um, the private equity team who can give kind of a larger view. Here are the things that are possible that you could use to drive revenue growth. Uh, and there's also the portfolio effect. So while you might have a mid-cap uh, company that might not be able to afford the most sophisticated solution for that particular company, a lot of private equity companies we work with develop a solution that can span across multiple companies so they can spread the cost out but get the same benefit that they would have. Okay, and it, so, so that works, it sounds like it could work well within the usual private equity ownership time period, four to six years, it, 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 that, that's, that's not a problem as far as you can see. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have a quick strike approach where we come in in a few weeks and identify the opportunity to drive revenue and then usually implement and have in-year uh, returns. All right, we'll leave it there. Drew Carter, Alex Partners, thanks for coming in. Thank you, Jeff. And thank you for watching. In New York, I'm Jeff Kanige for The Deal.